Oh, there's Fliss. Whew. Wait, hang on. Need a need a breather for a second because. Oh my God. I need a I need a moment, just a little moment. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> Feels like PT, but far more explanation. I don't know if we saved him or not. I don't know what the hell's happening. Inhale, exhale. Spare pillows and a hug, please. God, this is this game is so good, but I'm also like so on edge. All right. Okay. I got more bearing updated. Wait, does that mean I, I hang on? Fliss didn't find anything of use in the cargo hold. Oh, there's a lot of things. Alex took the bang stick on the dive. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Julia used the bang stick to open the door on the cockpit. Alex's knife was not used on the dive. Conrad rushed for the speedboat during the kidnapping. Conrad started the speedboat and made a break for it. Danny brought Alex on deck with a knife to his throat. With Olsen about to fire at Conrad, Alex attacked Olsen, allowing Conrad to easily avoid Olsen's shot. Okay. I see. So this is all of the stuff, like, that we did. Told Alex to think things through, seemed anxious on the dive. All the stuff that we unlocked. Julie wanted to decompress before surfacing. We're on that one already. So we, we didn't really do too much. The kitchen knife found a kitchen knife and chose to keep it. Fliss found the captain's hat with the name ending in G and then Medan after it. Okay, so that's what bearings are. Nope. Yep. There were US military boarding the ship. I like doing this because it kind of recaps and reminds you of everything. Well, he dropped down where the, f where the wrench fell, so maybe... Um, Brad still has the ability to have the wrench. I don't know. Radio operator's notes detail times when radio contact was operational on the ship. The ship's radio contact was lost. Okay. Okay, first things first. I gotta shut that off so I can hear a little bit better. I don't need the AC anymore. <gasps> Ooh. I saw that! I also saw that. Oh no. Oh! What is going on here? Ghosts! Oh, there's that body. Oh, he's in a different position. It's a different body. That is a used bullet, half the size of what we found. That guy doesn't look like he's in a nice position. Oh no! Oh, zombies. Everything's new now. What in God's name is this? 
the the dude's gonna be in here. The cloak dude's gonna be in here. From the premonition. Remember I said candles? The cloak dude's gonna be in here. Oh, don't tell me this is my death. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, no. There's a lot of things to investigate. Not right. Yeah, I could tell you that. On here. Oh, great, there's a blood fountain. Marvelous. You know what I love? Blood fountains. Yep, that's a blood fountain. Great! I feel welcome. Are you a head? What is this? Oh, heads. Oh, and that. Oh, even better. Marvelous. I love what you've done to the place. So decorative. Blood across the floor. Is that the door we came out of? Oh, that's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, this is the thing from the... The lighthouse. Remember the lighthouse story Brad was talking about? Oh, no. This has to be an illusion, then. You guys might be right. Must be all in our heads. We must be making shit up. There's a book. Don't put the lamp, the flashlight down. That's a bad idea. Oh, what's that? Hmm. A lot of blood and stuff on this book. Or... Oh, yeah, blood. Oh, Cabal should silently assemble, and no more fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male. First born faces obscured with hood. Sigils. Know it's important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. Flock that before the festival of Akramahamari. Ak Ak Can ritual of Thre Threskia is performed to went away demons by means of cabal. The pentacles shall be drawn out and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center. Oh, we are the lady of the sea. Center of the pentacle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of source, sword in hand, with all exaltation possible. As is written, we five stand at the furthermost point, and yet we are close enough to touch. Pentagram. The five-starred great power, turning 90 degrees to your... I think the blood is, like, missing words. So that's why it's like dot dot dot. To describe the unicursal out. The, pentag the pentacle is faith, sword forward, and using rents. Turn degrees to describe the ocuvernal sigil constitutes the with reverence turn to face north with exultation exclaim oh no they want to sacrifice me is what i got did that update my stuff no no nothing really oh boy oh boy okay Oh no, there's blood leading up there. Let's go this way for a moment. Oh, we were just over here. Okay. Yeah, maybe the gas does have something to do with it. Makes you paranoid. Uh oh. Yeah, good luck with that. What's this do? Do we open the curtains? The bloody curtains? A coffin. Wait, what else was in that room? <laughs> Don't make me do things yet. Picture. What is happening? Underwater? Julia? Wait, who was underwater? 
found during ritual. Keel Hall. Someone is drowning and Julia is yelling stop. That's all I got out of it. Okay. Not sure who is that, but... Trying to be very mindful. No, don't, don't go down. We gotta go check out the coffin. I don't want to, but we have to. Cthulhu, I knew it. Yeah, I agree. Look around first before you poke the coffin. Where are we? There's a thing back here. I would like to see the thing first. There's blood pouring out of the wall. Why? That's not a good sign. Are we going to drown in blood? That's a door. Oh, maybe I should check the coffin first. Yeah, that's a clue to leave. That's kind of how I felt, too. Oh, and that's it. Yeah, we didn't even look at the coffin. We- you're right! We got fresh air and now look. But look at the- the stank in here. That's how everybody died. Wait. Why can't I? There we go. Is she the first one to figure this out? Wait. She was never there? She was never there. Oh, yeah. Brad. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, no. He's inhaled hey, too much. Brad. What are you. Oh, no. Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? Oh. Ah. Stop it! Ah. Brad, stop! Ah. Snap out of it. What the fuck? The stank. Oh no. Yeah, because you breathe fresh air, the gas effect is gone temporarily. That would make sense. And Brad does not know that was Fliss. So that... That is what's happening. Who's behind you? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh, Julia. Oh no. The gas got to her. Oh boy. We're back on the... the thing. Oh, we're gonna get grabbed. <gasps> With bullets in his head? It looks like her boyfriend. Yeah, the gas is, uh, getting to her now. But this will- this will get her killed. And he's gonna be alive. He's gonna go, Wha Wake up. Yep. <gasps> Wait, who's who? Who's who? No. Stop. 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 Cuz I saw that in the premonition, but does that mean it's right? Come on. 
I don't know what to believe. I don't know if I should follow the... I'm confused. I don't want to get anybody killed. What just happened? Who's who? Who who dry, who died? Who didn't Thanks. die? I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. Fuck. Who's who? Oh, there's the guy. But why are there two Alexes? Oh shit. So the other one was bad. On. No. Let's go. He's going to get stabbed. Fuck. Oh no. <sighs> shit. Everything is not as they seem. That's why he said that. That the hint is for all of this for the oh man. Oh no. Come on. Keep going, keep going. Don't get stabbed, please. Fuck. He's going to get stabbed. He's here. What's the matter, Trimbo? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't don't fall, don't die, don't slip, don't trip. Keep going. The door might get us killed because we saw that in the premonition. Jump. Shit. That was close. I don't want to go to the door because the door showed death. Keep going. He has a knife, you don't. Keep going. No, he's got. Yep. Oh, oh. <sighs> oh thank God. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Jesus. We gotta get somewhere safe. They're outside, so they can breathe some fresh air. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out in the chat. They're like, "I'm stressed." Oh no. I'm stressed. I'm playing it. Everyone's lives is in my hand right now. We good here? No. I think. Yeah, I think we'll be all right here. No. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice, Giant Toro, at QTE. That doesn't mean I'm great at it by any means, but... Oh, ooh. hello. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the ghosts? Have you figured out what's going on? Yeah. How to stop it? I don't know how to, to stop save it. the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Because they never breathed air. Deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. 
Okay. Yes. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Oh, uh, like a weapon? Supernatural? Maybe like a weapon? Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helped. They all changed. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Bye, curator. Hopefully I don't kill anybody. Remember, kids, inhaling stale farts is bad. So far, kept everybody alive, though. What the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your he doesn't shit. remember. Like, time, you almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on, that's ridiculous. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Nobody's explaining this their. Stuff I saw. Okay, here we go. It's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and. That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. What's your explanation? There's something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Um. Where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. We would have seen it by now. Where are the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. Suspicious. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. Mm-hmm. What happened? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh holy shit we're so totally fucked. I guess that's one way to look at it. I read a letter. I, I found it before. It said the guards here were scared of ghosts. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do we have to do it now. Time to get off the ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Oh, there's a gun! Let's shoot everybody. <laughs> Crystal's starting to figure it out. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, little laggy. What's happening? We gotta okay. get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. Wait, was there anything in there? Uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I feel like we're missing important stuff in here. No? Okay then. Fine. Can I talk to anybody? No? Fine. There's a there's a shiny over there. What is that? More bullets? Are the stuff in the bullets? I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Oh yeah, maybe maybe the soldiers accidentally shot down their own plane. That would make sense with everything going on.
Yeah, we haven't quite figured... Like, we kind of have an idea, but we haven't quite figured out, like, w if the gas is really from those bodies, or if it's something else. Can we use this boat? No, there's holes in it. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Okay. All the bolts, the the bolts, the I almost said bowls. Now the boats have holes in them. Well, it seems like we're safe outside. So far. Found a way up. Sadly, no. But I'll keep my eyes open. What's that? Uh-oh. Please, no intestines. A body! Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm. Clearly shout gas, gas, gas to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. So wait, I have to remember this. Bag under left arm. Shoulder sling on the right. So bag left sling right okay um remove your helmet pull the mask up to your face with both hands put your chin inside the mask first then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head remove any potentially trapped gas close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands check for leaks and tightly squeezing the flexible Co corrugate corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling the mask should crumple around your face if the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask and ensure it is snug. Then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to make sure there are no leaks. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Uh-huh. Let go of the hose. You may now breathe as you normally would. Replace headwear and close the carrier bag. You may now remove your mask only when you are told it is safe and instructed to do so. Prize the mask open slightly and smell the air. If you detect gas, close the opening and repeat the process of closing the outlet valve, breathing out sharply and pushing out any potential potentially trapped gas out of the mask with your hands. Once you have removed the mask, replace the mask and flexible corrugated hose into the carrier bag as you found it. You may remove the carrier if it is no longer required by unfastening the belt and shoulder sling. Gas masks will only be issued in the event of a gas leak. And that guy's clearly wearing one. Also, why did they have a thing for gas masks if like... Yeah, and this guy's clearly dead. So, maybe we should take that gas mask? <laughs> Just saying. I know it's a dead body, but, you know. Oh, there's a... Okay, that's probably progress. I don't want to do that yet. Let me... A memo instructing someone to issue gas masks to any soldiers working with chemicals and cargo. There must have been a risk of a gas leak with the cargo, obviously. Lifeboat is missing from the B-29 plane. It had been launched during the plane's mission. Update. The plane must have been flying low to drop the lifeboat when it was shot at. Oh, so every time you unlock something, every single thing has a new... Okay, because we saw this before, but now there's an update to it. Very neat. Shell casing found near a gun on the ship. The gun had been fired. Update the gunners on the ship. Attack the sea air rescue plane. By accident. Um, the B-29 was gunned down from the Orang Madan. Okay. So. We can't talk to anybody, it seems. Nope. Won't let me talk to anybody. Not even my own brother. Yeah, you're right, Foxy. Under left shoulder, right shoulder strap. Yep. Alright, so let's uh, jump up there, I guess. Hey, a little help over here. I 
think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Man, she's strong. You up. Okay, so those two are going together. Oh no, they're all are. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, don't split up. That's not a good idea. I can only remember because Kat did the demonstration. Yep. Under the under this, over that. I just figured in case it's like important later and they make me do it. I don't know. I probably won't remember in a panic, but you know. Reasons. I hate how I, I feel kind of safe out here because I shouldn't feel safe at all. Yeah, I hear noises now. Something bad is gonna happen. Anything? Did you find anything? Do I have to go in there? <sighs> I don't wanna. The orchestra of doom. <laughs> Over here. Gotta wait through here. Here we go. I'm looking away, I'm looking away. It's nothing, just a seagull. <laughs> oh, that's not good. We're probably trapped now. Ooh. Ooh, leggy. Leggy leg. Oh, there's a, there's a body. No one's acknowledging the body? Cool, cool. We're probably all used to it by now. Picture! Show me something. Oh no, he's gonna shoot himself. Oh shit. Which one was it? Um. The one with the bandana. Okay. That was in distress signal. Loose cannon. Okay. I don't know if we should save everybody, like including them, because they kind of like were assholes and hid things from us, and I don't know. I don't know what to, to, to think about it. Apparently we shouldn't go that way? Oh, it's locked, that's why. Okay. I don't know why they just stand there, that's really weird. I wonder if you play this like with other people, if everybody can walk around. Maybe. What is that? Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Hmm. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Were they trying to... So, if they were United States military, they came from there and then went all the way around to China, possibly picked up something some kind of really deadly cargo and then now they're in the middle of the ocean here and then they never went back there. Where were they transporting this? A map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Okay. A letter. Notes, United States Department of the Navy. Uh, ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. 
Um, hold two flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. So things just started to go to shit. That's not a good sign. Oh, this is that room. This is that room where the, the sailor died. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. Ooh, that's creepy. Conrad is so lucky. I remember Illusion Fliss was wearing blue in Brad's Illusion in looping room. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I have to pay attention to their clothes now? Damn. Take oh, a there's a radio. No freaking way. Why does this it thing work? actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. That was easy. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Okay. Holy shit. Nice. Uh, this is an emergency. Come on, this is an emergency! Please! Instructive. We're on an old freighter. Our location is 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Oh no. Did they not get the coordinates? Fuck. Hey! Come here, look! Oh no. That's not good. Don't jump. Don't do it. Why are you doing it? This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. I got this. I got... I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right. She doesn't look like she can handle me, it. <laughs> she couldn't handle it. One of our legs is broken. More, more blood on my leg. Any broken bones? Everything still work? You gonna go right down there? Not really concerned. Yes. I'm okay. You see anything? Gotta find out where we are. Uh, okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Oh, here. a lighter. Hey. 
Nice. After you. Oh. Great. Let's let's check our stuff. Uh, navigation notebook describing events during the ship's voyage. A storm had blown the ship off course. Gotta pay attention to stuff. Fliss seems urging Julia to go. Why? Oh yeah, she really had to like... I would tell her to hike her happy handling ass right back up there. <laughs> Girl, you are getting your butt up here. You are not ready for this. A radio operator's note from the ship. The operator had made interminate radio contact to broadcast a final mayday call and then wrote I die um Fliss didn't find anything used in the cargo hold Brad found the spanner above the cargo hold later Fliss met Brad who attacked her with a spanner she avoided the attack and Brad ran away Uh, Alex find the knife. He chose to keep it. After getting out of the water, something that looked like Alex grabbed the knife and chased Alex and Julia. Alex and Julia were able to escape from the thing that looked like Alex. Fliss found a captain's hat. Group discovered a radio and made contact with a military station. They gave their coordinates. Uh, Alex and Julia went down to the hole in the radio room. Alright, so that's about it. How is, um, kind of mixed with his brother? Conrad's nowhere to be found. Kind of mixed with Fliss. And decent, decently okay with Julia. So we, we have a good connection. Okay. Just had to. We're in the lower levels of the ship. Oh no, sick bay. Uh oh. What's this? What's this? What's going on? Here. Medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing an N. X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for the same thing the Western world must be protected from. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we're unable to. Oh, they're experimenting. Describes an investigation during to test the effect on human subjects of the molecular crystal structure hallucinogens, codename Manchurian Gold. Oh my god, guys. Manchurian gold isn't treasure. It's the chemical. You guys were right. It's the stuff they're inhaling. It's a biological weapon. <sighs> chemical mutations battle. It was even relatively minor. Observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men. Highly convincing. Subjects seeing and hearing things that were really not there. Even. The danger was manifold. And in its intensity... God damn. Well, now we know more about it. Oh, there's another note. What's this? It looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brig. In that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. This is what we saw in the beginning of the game. It is the opinion of the arrested officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Must have been a big fight. Uh. And then he woke up in there and everything was fucked. Makes sense. Let's see what this is about. Uh, Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, Private, Petty Theft, One Day. 
break small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis Private. Trespass two days break. Found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC. I don't know what that means. Hey, Jins. Happy, f well, now it's Saturday, but happy Friday-ish. How's it going, dude? Um, PFC Lewis brand public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Okay. Uh, Saturday, Charles Anderson private public intoxication. Joe was in the sick bay. Uh, brawling 10 days Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication, brawling 10 days. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave, assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. Okay. A lot of fights on the ship. I wonder if they were, like, for legit reasons or as a result of the gas. Oh. What is that? I didn't know we could go further. Interesting. Oh god, you scared me. You just waltzed right in here. Come on. Let's keep going. Okay, she's following me. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. Ooh, a little glitchy glitch. I hope you're right. I might have a wrong. <laughs> Time out toilet break. That actually sounds like a good idea. I have to go as well, so Hang on a second, guys, and we will be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Let us continue with not dying. Which way am I going? That didn't sound good. Let's go check it out. Uh-oh, the gas is coming back. Oh no. I don't want to drop down the ladder. Is there another way? Do I have to go this way? There's another... It looks like there's more gas out there though. Oh, but there's stuff in here. This is the room! Oh, we can learn about the boy now. Yep. Might have been the son of someone on board. Mm-hmm. Yep. We saw this before, we saw it again. Good. Now new characters are learning this stuff. What is this? A uh, patient named John Patterson, private, Rollett, Texas, February 24th, 1922. So this was back in the 20s? Or no, he was born then. Enlisted at a point in Garland, Texas, date March 2nd, 1941. Okay, so this happened in the 40s. So this kind of happens in correlation with like, like that ship in history that did have, that did sink or something in the um, 40s. Good, Jins. I'm glad. I'm glad you got it. Um, total service, Army, three years, five months. Case History of case. Diagnosis, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of dute, duty. <laughs> Existed prior to enlistment. No. Present condition, fit for service. Probable future duration, temporary. Recommendation that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I put Private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe stress, distress, consistent with evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. 
Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no medical conditions and is an exemplary military career. He was able to calm down during the course of our meeting for tests of speech, reactions, memory, and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. So they were experimenting on like everybody here. That's not reassuring. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, these bodies are, like, pretty fr- Like, they look fairly fresh. I don't like it. Okay. Now we can go back in here. So. Stuff got updated. Uh... Patterson was diagnosed with combat and operational stress disorder. Stress reaction. That is what happened. Uh, with symptoms including hallucinations. Um, notes written by a physician on board the ship describing and diagnosing a patient's symptoms. He was diagnosed with suspected combat stress reaction. The rumor started with someone who was suffering combat and operational stress reactions. So that's what COSR is. So it's related to the hallucinations. The ship crew attacked the B-29 due to hallucinations. Uh, a confession from a person known as Scientist X stating that what the Americans codenamed Manchurian Gold was an investigation into distributing chemicals on the battlefield. The chemicals caused violent paranoid hallucinations, so they did plan to use it as a biological weapon. Oh yes, I see that, Giant Toro. Thank you. Yeah, so... Interesting, right? No, no more bearings. No more pictures. How are we with our girlfriend? We're, pr we're pretty good. We're pretty good. She trusts us. Okay. Let's, um... Drop down, I guess. Try not to die. Come take a look. Look. Down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Let's go down this rusty ladder that won't break. Shit. No more ladder. Uh-oh. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait! <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. I hate guys so much. <laughs> I'm a man, oh. I can do things. Okay, now we'll never be able to get back up. Great. <laughs> Fuck! What's up? You didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. I looked um, away for one hello? second, and then the... Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations. That was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, mm -hmm. and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Yes! Search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking? Or what they thought they saw? Oh, God. All right, let's get going. <laughs> There's gas on this fucking ship. Let's keep going. Great idea. Rotterdam, Nederland? That's a funny name. Van Linden Engine Works. Year 1920. Number 1734. I don't know. It's an engine. I don't know what it does, but let's push some buttons and hope for the best. Oh no, we're getting into the gas. There's more. I wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead. Shut up. It's... 
Not bragging, but we would have been safer in Japan. Just saying. Ooh. There's, why is there a bunch of holes and stuff? There's a lot of... A lot of gas down here. That. I found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Somehow. Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Why is the thing flashing? Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. Yay! Send your distress signal. Help! You have to help us! Do you read me? We're hallucinating. We're in danger, okay? We're in a real goddamn mess out here and we need help now. Over. A recovery mission is being prepped. Please see what sort of vessel you're on. Over. We are on a large US freighter from like World War II, I think. Over. Help is on the way. Shit. Work. Shit. Come on. Well, at least we got the message out. <laughs> Did you see her lamp just go? <laughs> oh no, the gas. The spooks are coming. Hey, look at this. The rebreather. Why is it here? I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, are we sure it's, it's even got there? Maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us. It's just gonna slow us down. Uh, yeah, just leave it. Not worth the risk. Because we don't even know if that's what it is. Plus, there's only one, right? No. Uh oh. Stop, please. No. He's going crazy. Don't say anything. Oh, there's the thing we need, though. Great! It's next to the crazy guy! What is he doing? He just realized what he did. He's seen something, and we should not go in there. Oh. Oh, fuck! It's gold, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal. Oh, here we go again. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. Fuck! I can't do it when they're close together. Do we 
need to start running again. Run. We're good. No, we're yeah. not. For now. <sighs> no, 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 no. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. Change what? No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. I'm not changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? What is? Ha! Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Yes, there is, in the background. Don't breathe the mist! What does it do? Wait, wh what is this mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. Okay. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down. Don't do that. You're going to get shot. Don't Why do that. that. Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. Don't shoot her. Feel it. Worried. Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No. No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. No. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. To me, I got the mist in me, don't I? Oh, this is the thing. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. But the inside. Distract. Wait. Yeah. No, man. There's, there's no mist inside you. I can tell. Stop. Stop lying. See it in the cancel. You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Keep me alive. Uh. Hey, hey now, don't Oh fucking shit. I didn't want to grab the gun because I didn't want to get shot. <sighs> oh. Two of the pirate dudes are dead. The, I mean, to be fair, they did uh, kind of hold us hostage and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about these guys if their lives are worth saving, but I don't know. The mist! The stench! Great. That's just fucking great. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? Great. Don't breathe the fart in. Well, this is just 
riveting. Yeah, it's been a while since we talked to, to these two. Come on, guys. Where are you? Hey. Hey, what's happening? Is everyone okay? Oh, they heard the gunshot. God, please be okay. Please be okay. I gotta go after him. No, 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 no. You stay there. Well, we gotta go down there and make sure everything's okay. No, no. Shit. Well, what's our play? I'll find them. Make sure they're okay. You stay here with the radio. There has to be a better idea. I'm gonna stay as far away from trouble as I can. And I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. No, no, no. It'll... It'll be fine. No, no. Just keep your head down. Okay? No, don't go. That's not good. <sighs> I said that's not good. Why did you not listen to me? Now you're gonna inhale the gas and you're alone and... This isn't a good idea. This is totally not the same way that they went, but whatever. Tetanus everywhere. Wait. Conrad! I'm not going back. That's a trap. I swear to God, if I make it through this, I'll never even set foot on a paddock again. Wait, was that door locked? I should probably check that first before I keep walking in this direction. I thought that was Conrad. That didn't look like Alex to me. Okay, so that's locked. The gas is affecting Cat now. <laughs> I'm seeing shit. We're fucked. I'm a goner, guys. I've inhaled too much gas. Oh no, am I repeating the rooms again? A picture! I haven't seen one of these in a while either. Who's that? A little hope? That doesn't look like anything we're experiencing. Found during Olsen. Okay. Weird. Uh oh. The gas. What's over here? Oh, there's a pa piece of paper. Piece of paper. Clues. Uh, to all field officers, the scale of our research and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. I guess it'll have to be Hawkins. Poor bastard. There's almost nothing left of him. I know this is an ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and the respect he deserves once we've got his body back home. We just have to make this work for now. So the small casket wasn't a child. It was half of a person. Oh my god. Potentially. I, I can't confirm that, but that's what it sounds like they used the smaller caskets. So there weren't kids down here. They just want you to believe there are. A rat. <laughs> Why were they chopped up bodies? I have no idea. No! 
You're gonna go into the stench. The bog of eternal stench. There it is. There's the stench. We're gonna hallucinate. All I can do is move. What is happening? Uh oh. Hey, just relax. We just want to get out of here. Nobody's got to get hurt. Back off. Whoa, relax. Nobody's coming after you. Oh, easy, easy. We can figure something out. That's the best idea. He's going to release the water. Okay, I got it. Why are you here? The source of the stuff! Oh, that was close. Is that to electrocute the water? What does that do? The door? Oh shit. Uh oh. No, don't die. Did it freeze? I'm not good at this. Oh no. God damn it, why couldn't it have been the other guy that died, or did both of us die? I told you not yet, and she hit it anyway. Wait. Is he alive? No, he's not. I thought maybe because it was open a little bit, but they're dead. Oh, fuck. I was so close. The button mashing killed him. I'm not good at that.
There was a hold option instead of button mash? I did not know that. Damn it. <sighs> Brad was a nice kid, too. Fuck. Go ahead, bring me to the curator where he's like, Oh, you guys got one of them killed. And they can say, fuck you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I was right at the end. All right. Let's try it. I got one person killed. Oh! Here's Conrad! He got the Coast Guard. Oh no. They don't know that they left. Oh no. Oh no, they arrived for help and they're gone. Oh no. So I did see Conrad on that ship. No, no, no. What the hell is this place? You don't want to find out. No, no. Don't go in. Is it abandoned? Hello? Oh no. Alex, Julia! Are you guys here? Oh, he's gonna die. Oh no. <sighs> Fuck, man. This is why you put a sign on the side of the ship that says, Conrad, if you see this, go home. <laughs> uh, damn it. He had this thing where I was never upset or disappointed. He told me this crazy bullshit about all the different parallel realities that potentially exist. Now, no matter what, no matter how bad things seemed, there were always at least a couple other realities where things were probably even worse. Well, you're right, little bro. Fucking right. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. Oh, he's dead. We really should have never split up. Oh, he's so dead. So I only saved three out of five. So we totally lost two people. Uh-oh. Oh no, is Conrad gonna find him? Dude, in the last couple minutes of the game, everything went to shit. <sighs> oh, don't give me that sassy look.
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. I wasn't. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, mm -hmm. made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Oh, he pushed his chair in. What a gentleman. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope. Maybe somewhere else. Oh. But be certain. We will meet again. It's inevitable. Is Little Hope the next game? Is that the hint? Because we also... Won't you spare me over to oh boy. Won't you spare me yeah, I'm, I'm skipping. Because of copyright music. Thank you. <laughs> Not that I hate the song, but copyright. Yeah, and until dawn, I, I lost people in the end, too. Oh, no. Who's that? Oh, no. He inhaled it. God damn it. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Oh. Okay, very good. Not on a ship there. now. I fashioned her with my own hand. Little hope. Ah, oh, it is the next one. Ooh. 2020, next year. Well, they did originally say they were going to try to come out with like the next games in the series like every six months. So we'll see if they lead up to that because that'll bring us to like February, I think. Oh. God damn. Oh wow, my name's up in the corner, but you can't see it because of my <laughs> thing. What happened if, um... Collections? What do we have? Does it just show us all of our stuff? Yeah. See if our secrets got updated. Yes, they did. Small casket designed for a child. Update. Because of shortages, the coffin was used to transport an adult. So they weren't kids. Yep. Memo stating that there is a shortage of adult caskets due to there being little left of it. One of the bodies could be transported using a child's casket. I don't know how I feel about that. Sh like stuffing people in tiny caskets. Special features. So I think I got stuff because I pre-ordered the game. Huh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Game came- Oh, because you entered a blocked scene. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool, though. Look at his finger. I guess, like, they, they issue that if, like, you try to, like, use the PlayStation part of the recording. Like, if you were to record a clip. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's cool. So that's a documentary interview with Sean, Sean Ashmore. That's the guy's name from Animorphs, who was Conrad. And uh, discussing the creation of the curator. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Gameplay recording resumed. 
Where, where is that setting? I am changing it right now for the button mashing. Hold to complete button mash. God damn it. <laughs> More like no hope. So I wonder if this game is going to have some kind of connection in the next chapter, essentially. Like, is the gas still going to be a thing in, like, Little Hope? Or is it going to be, like, a completely different set of fuckery? I'll be very interested to uh, know that. You should play the curator's mode, but you should inspect as much as possible, see where it takes us. Well, we're not doing that tonight because it's like two in the morning, but maybe next time? I don't know. You guys and you guys are going to have to tell me what you think of this and if you want to see more of it, if you guys want me to stream more of it next time. So if you guys want me to play this in the next stream, you're going to have to let me know and see if we do that. I, I'm interested. I love the game. There was a lot of lag, but it wasn't game breaking like it didn't happen during any important cutscenes or any important like QTEs it was just like when I was exploring and I think it's because of the weird angles and like I I want to say it had something to do with like rendering the graphics in the background as well as like the flashlight moving might have also screwed some stuff up but overall this is a really good game it was really well done um I'm very proud I didn't scream as much as I thought I would because it's really late at night and I don't want my neighbors thinking I'm getting murdered. Crystal definitely wants to see more and see different choices. Maybe try saving the two dudes next time. I know, right? I want to save everybody. The heartbeat QTE is quite a problem. It is. It was easy in the beginning. But I think, like, as as it got more intense and, like, you had to do it, like, in a row, you'd go, do, 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 and I couldn't do it. It's just, I was, I was too focused on the guy with the sledgehammer. Danny, I think his name was. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the lag was caused by the game running faster than it could read from the disc. Possibly. But overall, very good game. I highly recommend everybody try it out. The game is only 30 bucks. So, and it's part of an anthology collection, as it even states on the cover. It's the Dark Pictures Anthology, so there's going to be more of these in the future, and eventually it's going to be a set of I don't know how many games, but it looks like the next one maybe has to do with, like, witchcraft or something, or summoning, sacrificing, I have no idea, but... I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to replaying this and like diving in a little bit. And uh, if you played this, let me know what result you got. Did you save everybody? Did you lose people? Share your thoughts. And uh, we will potentially continue this next time if enough people want to see it. So, but until then, I'm tired. I'm sure you guys are tired. I bid you adieu. And I'll see you guys next time. So have a good night, a good, a good Labor Day weekend for you guys here. And um, uh, yeah, <laughs> good night. Happy nightmares. <laughs> Don't uh, inhale the mist or the stench or whatever the hell you'd like to call it. And I'll see you guys next time. So until then, take care, everybody. Have a good one. And bye bye.